teenagers today are delaying risky behaviors like having sex and drinking alcohol, but they're also delaying getting a license, dating, and even working part-time jobs. This according to research that analyzed data from the 1970s through 2016. So in the last half hour, we've also talked about the connection between screen time on any device and the level of unhappiness in teens. We're joined now by Sarah Feierbacher, clinic director at SMU Center for Family Counseling. And Sarah, one of the questions that we often get is how much screen time is too much? Sure. According to the American Association of Pediatrics, more than two hours per day is too much. That includes homework time, too. So you've got to calculate that computer time on their homework as part of the two hours. And we can't quite tell kids to just disconnect. In fact, when we were doing our Facebook Live, one of our viewers shared that her child never unplugs. She said she's always locked on her phone. I know a lot of parents can relate. So what can we do to help them unplug? Absolutely. Uh, we can model it ourselves. So a lot of times I, I recognize that um, I'm on my phone more than what I need to be when I'm around my own children. And uh, I can think about that first and know that I'm modeling for them um, healthy behaviors and healthy habits. And then we we can also talk about what do we want to do instead of being on our phone, what do we want to do and plan it out for the week, plan a weekend, uh, whether you're going outside and you're going shopping together or you're participating in holiday events, um, you're playing sports together. There are a lot of things if you actually plan it and schedule it into your calendar um, where you'll start to develop new habits and uh, family structures. Point being, they're going to model your behavior. Absolutely. So we talked about this, Sarah. What's one thing that we can all do tonight at home, an easy thing to do that's going to have a positive impact on your family? Sure. Eat dinner together and when you eat dinner together turn off that TV as much as you may want to see that game or that show that you've been waiting for that's the beauty of today's technology right we can record it so record it turn off the TV and spend that time looking at each other in the eye modeling healthy communication um, bring up topics that you've been interested in and let your children engage in those communications with you and what has having dinner as a family what positive behaviors has that been linked to R research actually shows that 84 percent of teenagers actually want to have dinner with their parents, huh. which, you know, a lot of times you think, um, well, I've got to drag them to the table and turn off the TV. No, they want to have dinner with you. And um, when you see teenagers having dinner with their parents, you see less likelihood um, that they will engage in risky behaviors. You also, and that includes alcohol use, substance abuse, you see also then a significant increase in their grades. Um, they are able to do better in school and then they're able to engage in healthier relationships relationships with others. So it helps them in multiple facets of their Absolutely. life. Uh, something else that we want to talk about, this isn't all bad news that came out of this study. Actually, it showed that when kids are involved in face-to-face -face activities like perhaps playing sports, doing exercise, even doing their homework, that's been linked to fewer depressive symptoms. Yes, and it, we're seeing that kids are able today to be more well-rounded. They are, uh, because of technology, they have a lot of different opportunities. Um, they're able to experience things across the globe that you know generations before weren't able to experience. But as long as we have that social interaction, humans are, um, are social creatures. And so we need to make sure that we have both the social um, uh, connections as well as the technology uh, improvement. Because social media is not going to replace that face-to-face -face interaction. You're exactly right. Thank you so much, Sarah. We appreciate it. Thank Ken? you. All right.